Making $250,000 a year as a real estate photographer is possible. And I know that because not only have I done it, but a lot of the people we've worked with in coaching have done it. And this video is super cool because I get to go behind the scenes with a coaching client's actual results as they've built their business. And when I say results, I'm not saying all of this is due to coaching. It absolutely isn't. This guy is a really hard worker and did things correctly and built his business. When I say results, what I'm talking about is the processes that he went through, the things he did at each stage and exactly how much money he made each month as he launched his business. So this video is going to be more conversational, if you will. I'm not going to have a bulleted four points that I'm going through. I'm just going to talk through these numbers with you, the things we heard from him as he was building his business and saw him go through and the way we helped him continue to grow his business at a very fast pace. I mean, these are absolutely incredible numbers. And I think they're really goal numbers and what we should shoot for those of us that are new in this industry, because I didn't do that. And that's why I say we, I wish I would have known these numbers. I wish I would have known to shoot for these. And I wish I would have known this is possible. I mean, his third month, which I'm about to show you now was greater than any month I did in like my first two years. And my clock on what was possible and how fast it could happen was totally messed up. And again, my whole channel is about not letting that happen to you and showing you what's possible. So let's dive into his numbers. All right, so this is in our reporting board that our coaching clients have access to. And it's the screenshot of the month as well as the revenue numbers. You can see his first month was March, 2023. This guy actually moved to a completely new city and he started his business there and he made $300 in his first month. And that I think messes up a lot of people and shows something that's really important, right? You're not gonna swing out the gate and make two grand in your first month very likely. There's not a very high chance of that, but if that doesn't happen, which it doesn't happen for most people, it doesn't mean you're not gonna go on to build an absolutely incredible business. I mean, look at this. So this is 12 months, starting in March, 2023 and ending in February, 2024. And so what a lot of people do wrong, I think in these first few months, especially the first two months, is they don't see these crazy wild life-changing results immediately. And because they don't see those results, they lose the motivation and they cut themselves off, you know, right between April and May, as you can see. And that would have been a huge mistake. He put in a lot more than $1,700 or $1,800 worth of work these first two months. I mean, he really put in the work to grow his business and he gave it really solid effort. Like there was no half-ass anything, like he just did it. And so a lot of people get to that point and they're like, well, I don't know, I'm just not seeing the results, the impatience creeps in, the doubt, and all that stuff is normal. But it's like that meme that you've probably seen where there's like two miners and the top guy is mining and he gives up like one pickaxe swing away from the gold and the other guy keeps going. Like that is so many people in this business and they give up. So that's what I would just from looking at this, avoid this stage that I think is really cool. And look what happened. He hit the gold, May 2023, third month into doing this, $7,118. And that I think is where the jump between April to May is where the life change happens for a lot of people, right? Because most of us, when we're thinking about starting a new business, we could probably quit our jobs if we made 7K. And that's a big pivot point. My guidance to everybody is don't quit your job until you've replaced the income on the side. Because my thought is, I would much rather have the stress of too much work, my job and my hustle that I'm building on the side, rather than the stress of not enough money. That for me is not good. I, if I have the stress of not enough money, I don't get anything done because I'm just scared and I don't like that. So that's where it's important to know who you are and how you fit in that scale. Are you going to be someone that is really motivated by the burn your ships, quit your job thing, or are you gonna be able to perform better if you have a little safety? And that's a question you can only answer for yourself. But right about May, 2023, he was able to quit his job. We're moving into busy season Season, and he's doing a lot of client acquisition. I mean, just did everything we said. So June almost doubled that as well. $13,415 a month. Now that is definitely going to be life-changing for a lot of people. July pulled back a little bit. That's super normal. That happens. And then August, September, he was again, very busy. $16,000 a month, which is officially at the 200K a year run rate mark around 16 grand, slightly over. You can see there's a little bit of fluctuation, a few thousand dollars between month, but very strong October, November, and December. You'll notice what happened here is October was in second tied for busiest month, which is pretty normal. And then November, we dropped down to a little bit less, 13,000. Drop down is a funny word because I didn't make 13,600 a month for a long time. It definitely wasn't my one, two, three, four, like eighth month in business. Uh, so that's funny, but either way, he dropped down a little bit. And what you see there is just slow season coming into play. December is always a little bit slower in real estate. He still had a $100,000 a year run rate in his slowest month of the year, which is incredible. And then look what happened in January. It just slammed back with double the December volume. And that's very normal. February, 2024, which is last month at the time of filming this, it's at $23,000 in revenue. 
and he has officially brought on his first team members. He started bringing some on in January and then brought another one on in February, anticipating the growth of his business. And that's one thing that we've been planning, you know, really since October is like, what is that growth roadmap gonna look like? And we had conversations about like, hey, right now, is it more important for you to build a foundation and have the team ready for next year? Or is it more important for you to make more take-home income? And the decision back then was make more take-home income. And that's what it was most of last year. It was like, how much money can I get out of my business this first year? Which is a lot of people rush into scaling their business. And if you rush into scaling your business, it usually doesn't go well because if you scale too quickly, you don't have money built up. And so he was really smart with saying, hey, I'm gonna stack up some money. I'm gonna enjoy this business that I built, hopefully make a little bit of a dent in my savings account and make it grow a little bit. And then next year we'll get ready on the hiring. Well, change his mind a little bit. He saw the vision and he saw what was happening. And so November and December, we started making some plans. Early January, I hired two part-time employees in his business, continued to talk with us. And then we just had a recent meeting about bringing on another employee, which just happened here in early March assuming that we're gonna get 40 or 50K in revenue at peak months this year, which is pretty common to double every year in peak season, especially if you really put in the work with client acquisition, which he did. And so that's why you'll see a lot of people take a long time to grow, but they're still doubling, right? So maybe their biggest month, you know, first year was four grand and the next year it's eight grand, which is still awesome, but you're gonna kind of double no matter how fast the pace is. And so with this specific person, like his business is gonna be huge this year. So we, we had to have a, like a, we need to get people in place. We don't wanna bottleneck the business. We don't wanna slow it down. And I anticipate a really awesome year. So stepping back a little bit from those numbers, what are some things that he did during this first year to set himself up to have really fast growth and to be able to actually maintain that growth. So number one is he spent a lot of time on the Instagram method. That is how he got clients and those have become referrals since then, which is the whole purpose of the Instagram method. And he did that by really genuine effort. He sent custom video DMs. He put a lot of work into networking with those clients on Instagram and he really just followed the process and put effort into it. And I keep using the word effort because a lot of people think, oh, if it's a numbers game, like Eli says, let me just blast some messages out. And if you send out 500 bad messages, it's worse than 50 good messages, right? The volume doesn't make up for not good work. And so he did a really good job of just caring about each message, responding quickly when clients reach back out and putting genuine emotion and care into the relationships. Like he actually tried to build relationships with the client, which is exactly what the Instagram method is for. It's supposed to be a tool to build relationships, not a tool to spam people. And so he did that really well. He of course brought on an outsourced editor, which is what we recommend from day one. That way when he gets done for the day, he's not editing photos, he's sending them off to an editor and being able to enjoy time with his family or do the Instagram method, which is what he did for a lot of that time. The second second thing he did that goes along with this that I think is really, really important is he was very specific about his actions. So he did things on purpose. He kept his reporting boards updated. He got on calls with us and he took the exact advice we gave him and ran with it. And every time I say that, I always step back by saying the only reason we're able to give him good advice is because I did everything wrong. And so an interesting thing here to model would be me growing my business versus like he has been so much more successful, so much more profitable, so much more quick, his ability to grow his business and with a lot less pain and costly mistakes like I made. And so hopefully this video inspires you as, hey, that's what's possible if I go out there and I do everything right and I absolutely crush because I think you can, I think you should totally, if you're gonna start a business, you should go all in. There's no reason to step back and be halfway in. And this guy's a great example of someone who just went all the way in and, and didn't have any reservations. You know, one of the hardest things that we see is people who wanna start this business, they have a little bit of imposter syndrome. They're kind of scared to start it. And so they kind of like one foot in. They're like, I'm gonna try this. And I promise you, if you try this, it's not gonna work. You you have to commit to this, you have to make this your goal, and you have to be ready to grind for the next few months. But like you can see from these numbers, it's not years of grinding with no payoff. It's a month or two of grinding. If you do it right, you start to see results. And then once you start to see results, you're gonna be motivated. That motivation is gonna carry you to the next level and the next level. I can almost guarantee you that this person would not have kept going for a year with no results, even if he would have made 23,000 like he did in February. So those little wins in the meantime are very important. And the only way you get to those wins is by taking action. There's a, a thing I like to relate it to, which is an airplane taking off. And the airplane, in order to take off, it has to actually go down the runway fast, right? It has to get enough speed so that it can get enough lift to take off and get off the ground. And so what a lot of people do in business is they act like an airplane trying to be careful. Imagine an airplane going down a runway, trying to avoid bumps and make it really smooth and calm. It doesn't matter how long they do that for, they're gonna run out of runway space. They're not gonna be able to take off and you're, 
your business is the same way. Like you have to go fast enough to get that thing to actually take off to get results. So being careful and being a perfectionist and all these little worries you have, those are just gonna hold you back and prevent you from ever being able to get started. And here's the truth. This person and everybody else who started the business had those same worries, those same fears, but they did it anyway. And that's what I would encourage you to do, do it anyway. If you wanna learn more about coaching, which is the program that this guy was in, I highly encourage you to click the apply button below, fill out a short application and talk with my team. We're not a high pressure sales team. It's a game plan call where we look at your market, your goals, your situation, how much free time you have, all that stuff, and give you a custom guarantee where we will put our money behind you and say, hey, we guarantee this level if you join the program and do the work. So we'd love to share what that custom guarantee would look like for you and how we would approach growing your business with you. So hit the application link and I'll see you in the next video.